In this video, I'm going to step through the process of using HTML and CSS to create this drop-down menu. It has three top-level menus, Home Photo and Contact. And when the mouse rolls over the Photos menu, it displays three sub-menus. If you are new to HTML or CSS, then I would encourage you to watch my videos that cover the basics of HTML and CSS before watching this one. There's one series for HTML and another series for CSS. Let's start by going to littlewebhut.com where we can easily test our code as we develop it. I'll start by clicking on the CSS menu and then I'll click on one of the CSS properties. It doesn't matter which one because I just need a template that I can use to get started. Now I'll click on the Test It XHTML button to bring up the code tester with a template. The first thing that I'm going to do is to remove everything in the style section up here. And I'm also going to delete everything in the body section. And now I'm going to create the HTML code that's going to be the structure for my menus. I'll first make a heading tag that will come before my menu. And then next, my menus are going to go into a div element. And then I'll use one more heading tag, which will follow the menu. And then let's press the test button to see what we have so far. And now our menus are going to go into the div section here. And I'm going to be using an unordered list for them. And in the unordered list, I'm going to create our first top-level menu, which is the Home menu. And so I'll make a list item, and I'll put an anchor tag inside of it. And this is what the user will click on if they want to select this menu item. And for the href, I'll just call this home.html. And the text that will be displayed, I'll just call that Home. And let's take a quick look at this. And since I have two more top-level menus, I'm just going to copy and paste this two more times. And then I'll change the anchor tag in the second list item to Photos. And we'll have it point to a HTML page called Photos. And then our last section is called Contact and I'll change the HTML page as well. And let's take a quick look at this. And as you can see, we now have the three sections here. Now, since I want to have a drop-down menu inside of the Photos section, I need to add another unordered list inside of this list item here for Photos. So I'll add the unordered list tag and then I'll add a list item inside of this new unordered list. And I'll also add an anchor tag inside of the list item. And then close the list item tag. And this anchor is going to be called zoo. And then I'll add a value for the href. And I'll just call this zoo.html. And I want to have three submenus, so I'm just going to copy and paste this two more times. And I'll change the second link to say at the lake. And give it a different href value. And then this last one I'll call sunset. And again, I'll give it a different href value. And let's take a look at this. So now we have these three additional link items, which will be our submenus. And now we want to add some CSS styles to our navigation or menu section here. So I'm going to go up to our div statement here and add a class attribute. And I'm going to name that nav. And now we can apply CSS styles to it up here in the style section. 
The first CSS style that I want to add is a style that will remove these circles in front of my menu items. So I can go up to the style section and I'll type in the class name which is nav and then I want this to be applied to the unordered list so then I'll type ul and then the property that I'm going to add is the list style property and I'm going to set that to none. Now I'll go down and press the test button and you can see that the little circles are gone. And the next thing I want to do is set the margin and padding properties to zero. And now when we take a look at this down here, all of these menus are flush with the left side of the display. The next thing that we want to do is add a float property to all of the list items. So I'm going to type the class name again and this style will be applied to the list items and I want to float the list items to the left side and now when we look at this we can see that our top menu is horizontal now the home photos and contact and also our submenus zoo at the lake and sunset are also horizontal but I actually don't want the submenus to be horizontal I want them to line up vertically so I'm going to apply a style that will only apply to these submenus here. And to do that, I'll start by typing the class name. And I'll follow that with list item, unordered list, and list item. So this style will be applied to all list items that are contained within an unordered list, which itself is contained within a list item. So looking at our HTML code, the style will be applied to these three list items because they are contained within this unordered list, which is contained within this list item. The style that we will apply is the float property. And this time we'll set the value to none. And let's take a look at this. The next thing that I'm going to do is add a width to the list items. So I'll type width and I'm going to set a width of 100 pixels. And we can take a quick look at this. And I'm going to apply a different width to these submenus here, zoo at the lake and sunset. And so I'll do that right here. I'm going to set this to 150 pixels. And the next thing that I want to do is to remove the underlining under each of these words. And so I'm going to add a style for the anchor tag. And I'm going to set the text decoration property to none. And now when we look at it down here, we can see that the underlining is gone. And now I'm going to add a background color to our list items. So I'll do that right here. And I'm going to set the color to a dark gray color. And let's take a look at that. And now I can see that the text is hard to read. So I'm going to change the color of the anchor tag text to white. And now we can read the text better. And then I'll add a style to the list items to center the text. So I'll use the text align property. I'll set that to center. And now our text should all be centered. But for the submenus here, for zoo at the lake and sunset, I want those to be aligned to the left side. So I'll add a text align property right here. And set this to left. And to prevent the text from lining up at the very left edge, I'm going to add a little bit of padding to these list items for the submenus. So I'll use the padding left property. And I'll set that to five pixels. And now we have a little space here on the left. Well, this is the basic structure for our menus. In the next video, 
we'll be covering all of the remaining CSS that we need to apply to turn this into our drop down menu example. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.